Hey there, friends. I am going to build a new Tinkercad keychain just because they've changed the dialog boxes a little bit, and this may make it easier for you to create your own. So first things, sign into Tinkercad. With anything you create, let's name it first. I'm going to put uh, keychain, I'm going to put my initials, and just because I've done this a billion times, I'm going to put a 2017 after it. Every keychain that we build starts with a box, or it could be a cylinder, but these are going to be box keychains. And then I highly recommend you just click on the corner, click on the number, make the first one 70 and press enter, click on the second number, and make it 25 and press enter. And then they need to be 2 millimeters thick. Click that box, type 2, and press enter, and you will instantly have a 2 millimeter thick keychain if you click fit view to selection it zooms in and makes it look nice and nifty when using a chromebook being able to look at it from the top is a really handy option right now let's put the hole for our keychain when you bring that hole out just set it down and use the same trick to make it five millimeters and five millimeters and then I recommend moving it with the arrow keys. So I'm just holding the arrow keys down and nudging it to the corner of my keychain. We do not need to cut out 20 millimeters, so let's make it 4 millimeters thick. And then let's look at it from a different angle so we can just see how cool it is. Right now I am right click dragging to orbit. And then I'm going to grab both pieces, so I'm clicking and holding. Notice it says two shapes, and because that was a hole, when I group it, it cuts it out. If we switch to our top view again, look at that, you've got a nice cutout keychain piece. At this time, move down your list of tools and find text. Drag your text out on the screen. Click on that first bump, and I'm going to zoom out so I can see it better. And I want to make it 1.5 millimeters thick. I want to make it a hole. And then I wanted to say something cool. And for my cool phrase, I am going to choose 1K because I am real close to 1,000 subscribers. And then I want to grab this handle and I want to lift it up 0.5 millimeters. So I'm going to cheat and go to the 0.5 millimeter grid so I can just lift it up one click. So now it is off uh, by one. And then when I move it into my shape, notice it lines up just beautifully. I'm going to push it to the left edge. I'm going to select both of those. And this one I want to be aligned. So when I click that, I am going to align it to the center. That just makes it look more clean. Select them again. Notice it says two shapes. And I'm going to group it so it cuts out my 1K. And then I've got a little bit of space. So I'm going to do one more cool thing. I'm going to bring out the heart. I'm going to do the same thing by making it 1.5 millimeters thick. I am going to turn it into a hole. I'm going to shrink it a little bit. And then I'm going to double check that 1.5. It's stuck. I'm going to raise it up 0.5 millimeters. And then I'm going to use those arrow keys to move it into place. And you know what? I am going to grab and align again as well just because it's a super simple trick and it makes it look a little cooler. That is my finished keychain, just for fun. You can change the color even though it doesn't really matter because we print in whatever color, color is in the printer. With it named, you can then export it for 3D printing. We want the selected shape and we want to download it as an STL. I've got mine set to save where I want and I'm gonna put it in the downloads folder and then you'll need to email me that file. If you wanna just show me what you built, you can also invite me by clicking on invite, generate a link and then copy that link and email it to Harmon M. Thanks for following along. I'm anxious to hear about your cool creations and if you've got a second, please take time to subscribe, comment, and share the cool things you've done. Thanks for watching.